Good afternoon and welcome to the very first episode of Moments for 2020. Brief into sort of introduction to what Moments is all about. Moments is going to be literally exactly what it says on, on the tin. Moments. As a little time out of the day that will be for you, literally all about you and how we're going to make your day better and ultimately make your year better and ultimately make your life better. Moments is all about you. What we're going to do in moments, we're going to study different elements of meditation. We're going to study different ways of bringing your stress and pressures down and enhancing the, the lighter and more brighter parts of your life. Every single second of every single day belongs to you. Okay, it doesn't belong to anybody else. So when you give it away, you are choosing to give it away. When you have a day that is negative and is down and it's really depressive and heavy, Remember, you're a part of that day, but you own the ability to be able to change that. You own the ability to change it. Okay, remember, it's all about you. I said on Sunday night in um, spiritual church, I said to one of the first people I was reading, I said, are you a world, the world, are you aware of the world? And the world does not exist without you. Think about that for a second or two. So this world is spinning in the cosmos. It's spinning the space above us, the space below us, to the left, to the right, and front to the back. Okay. The energy that's outside of that globe belongs to us as well. Okay. It's ours. The energy of the universe belongs to each and every one of us, not just the chosen few. So what I want to do over this series of moments is awaken you to that possibility, awaken, to, awaken you to the different kinds of energy and the different possibilities that you have as an option in every single day of your life. From the moment you wake up every day to the moment you go to bed, it is made with every single second moment and every moment has an option of choice. Okay, People will say, oh, I don't have any choice. You have choice. Every single action you do is a chosen action. Okay, so you want to, what we want to do is maybe evaluate how you're making those moments, how you're making those options, and maybe redefine how you make those options so that you eliminate the ones that don't bring you happiness, strength, love, and peace, and bring in the ones that do. Okay, it's not all about hairy fairy, it's about energy, it's about decisions, thoughts, and moments in your life. Every moment in your life belongs to you. Now, everybody's coming to the room. I want to say hi and welcome to the very first show. Thank you for being here. But you guys know if I spend a lot of time saying hello to everybody, the whole show is going to be over and done with. So I'm going to say hi to you, to you guys as you come in. And thank you for being here. Don't forget, share the show. Get it out there. Uh, share it on your Facebook pages. Share it in your LinkedIn's. Share it in your Twitter accounts. Share it... Um, in your groups, especially your groups, and get as many people in here as possible so we can help change the day. Now, I have taught this particular scenario before. If we drop a pebble into a pond, the ripples go out. It's our choice which pebble that we want to drop into that pond. It's our choice um, how we want to, or what kind of energy we want to attract to us. Do we want to attract a positive, more vibrant energy, a, a more brighter uh, life? It's up to us. It really is that simple. It's our choice. Okay. Do I want to have a great life? Do I have a peaceful, happy, fulfilled life? Yeah, I do. So it's our choice to be able to attract that energy to us. For every second that you keep your mind locked into a negative situation, every time that you sit down and think about what's going wrong and how it's going to go wrong and even the fact that it may go wrong, is you're giving those moments energy. And the more that you give negativity energy, the longer it sticks around. Okay, let's have a quick look at what we're going to look at today on episode one. Your time. Okay, it's your time. This is what it's all about. This is your time. Um, you want to take on the second part of today's show, the time out. You want to take that time out every single day. Take time out for you. Okay. And I'm going to teach you a little bit of self-meditation today. And then I'm going to do card of the day to finish off. So um, earlier on, I linked in with the angels. And I did a shuffle through with a card and it's an affirmational card. So it's a card based upon thought. Okay. 
Um, Daisy May says, I would like to know when your next meeting will be, please. Um, how do you mean meeting? You mean event, show? Um, which case it'll all be all on my Facebook pages and all over my websites. But don't worry, I tend to give big heads up about what's happening. Okay. Um, we're aiming to do a big release this coming Friday, but let's focus on today. Okay. So as things stand at the minute, we are planning on moments, the show moments being Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I'm already on um, live on Mondays and Fridays anyway. I kind of want to keep it in the middle. Alrighty. Now, the next part of what I want to do from with you guys is this. I want you to tell me what is the best time to have this show on. Is this a good time? 1245. If it's suitable and it, it fits into your, you know, your everyday life. Then it, so it's not a chore. What I don't want is this show to be a chore and you thinking, oh, my God, I've missed it again. That's not what I want. That's not what this is all about. This is all about getting focused. This is all about getting you into a better state of mind and a better place in your life so that you start attracting um, great things to you. Let me say again, take time out every day. It's your time. Okay. So, in the, as I say, in episode one, we will talk about your time. Now, your time, do you give yourself time out every day? Do you give yourself an option of saying, right, do you know what? I'm going to give, give myself 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes time. Now, you may turn around and say, oh, yeah, but I, I do have a, um, you know, a, a lunch break. That's not your time. That's just a lunch break. In that lunch break, I'm going to say that you maybe spend time chatting with people. You spend time um going to shopping you spend time doing getting preparing the dinner i don't know whatever it is do you actually really give yourself that time do you say it's my time and therefore nothing else is going to happen well you should okay you should take this time out for you okay um so what i want you to really do today i want what i want you to do during my series of, of shows moments is literally Shut down to everything and everyone. Now, I know that kind of goes against what I teach on a normal basis, but it doesn't because it's it's it goes alongside everything that I teach. OK, so what I'm teaching you today is shut down to everything and everyone. OK, focus here, focus within. OK, because when you're happy within, you basically exude happiness. And the people who are around you that you love and cherish, they will be able to benefit from that happiness. And they'll very often turn around and go, how come you're so happy? How come you're, you know, you've changed? Mm -hmm. um, in which case you say, well, I watch this guy every single day called Paul Francis. And you want to kind of watch him on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Come and lock, jump, jump in. So 12.45, every, everybody's saying it's all good. 12.45, we will do moments. Okay. Can I, was, I was trying to think it might make it all... Angelic and do it at one one one, <laughs> you know, eleven minutes past one. And I thought, well, that's just a little bit too, maybe too pedantic, but and too airy fairy. So let's get back to what moments is all about. It's all about you. It's going to be a series of shows, literally about you. And I need you to be thinking like that. Okay, it's not being selfish. It's just taking this time out for you. OK, so your time is precious. Every single second of every single day belongs to you. You need to own that. You need to understand what that means. You need to know what it, it means when you give that time away. OK, because you can't get it back when you give that time away. It cannot be returned to you. And you say, well, I'll tell you what, I'll put that on the shelf and I'll use it later in my life. That's not how it works. When you give your time away, it's gone. All righty. So be precious about your time. Very often you'll sit down and talk with friends and family and say, oh, my God, you know, when we were kids. And it seems like that from when we were kids to where we are right now. So all of those moments in between that, not necessarily misspent moments, not at all, because usually the memories that we have are good memories. OK, but it's important that we understand a multitude of things. Number one, time does not change. OK, get it locked in here. Once you've locked it in here, it'll automatically filter down to here. Time does not change. There is 60 seconds in a minute. There are 60 minutes in an hour. There are 24 hours in a day. There are seven days in a week. There are 365 days in a year. 
that has not changed okay what has changed and what makes it seem like time is flying is that we fill each and every single hour with because we have to be thinking and we're programmed into saying oh i must be doing something i must be doing something i have to be doing something i gotta be busy i gotta be doing this i gotta be doing that gotta be blah, 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 blah. and then you fill your day full of crap really literally full of crap i asked a question the other day i said pick one thing out of the day that you did what that was fantastic that brought you happiness and joy not one person came back to me not one not one person said, oh, it was this. Oh, it was that. Not one person did that. So that tells you, wow, my God. What one second, what one moment has happened in your day that was like memorable and you thought, oh yeah, that was great. I'm going to remember that. You know, that is something that's a wee bit sad, really, because you really ought to be doing that and you ought to be able to go, oh, it was this. Okay. Those are moments in your life that you'll never get back. So it's important to live every single day to its absolute maximum, okay? But within that, you must take that time out for you. Yes, great looking after your family. Yes, great looking after the ones that you love. Absolutely fantastic, brilliant. But within that, you must look after yourself as well. When I'm doing my readings, I very often see a symbol. And that symbol is this. I see oxygen masks falling out of the ceiling like you would see on an aeroplane. So when the aeroplane, the air attendants, the, air, the flight attendants say, in the event of oxygen masks coming out of the ceiling, you must put your own mask on first before you even attempt to help anyone else. That is a directive. You must look after yourself first before you can look after anybody else. And that's what I'm telling you. Okay. It is not a selfish thing. It is not a selfish act. If you're not in 100% st uh, fit state of mind and body, how is it possible you can teach or help anybody else in the same scenario? It's not. So let's get you back on track. Let's get you back onto the top line and the top flow of energy that we can get for you that's available to you. It's out there. It's available. The universe is bombarding the earth with energy every single second of every single day. Yet we just let it flow past. Okay. You take a look out of your window in the morning. What do you see? The sun. The sun is a source of all power and energy in our universe. If the sun goes, so does our universe. Okay, if we lose the sun, boom, universe gone. Okay, if we lose the rain, boom, earth gone. Think about this. Okay, it's really, really important information. Now, with those two elements, water and heat, or water and sun, whatever way you want to put it, those are two elements that we interact with every single day. Okay, you never thought about that. You never th once thought, oh my gosh, you know. I hate the rain, it's always blooming rain, and yakety yakety yak. Without that, you don't exist. Okay, so disassociate negativity with weather for a start, and disassociate negativity with yourself. Okay, start telling yourself, I deserve great things. I deserve all the love in the world. I deserve to be happy. You should be writing these down. Go back and watch the show afterwards. I deserve great things and don't feel guilty about it. Don't feel guilty because you deserve to drive a beautiful car. You deserve to live in a beautiful house and you deserve to have a full bank account. Don't feel guilty about that. Guilt is the full stop to everything. Guilt is that. We don't win while we conform to guilt. Okay. And we don't win. Therefore, we can't help other people. Alrighty. If you're sick, down, sad, and mentally broken, you're not in any state to be able to help anybody. So let's flip that over and get you to a level of conscious mind that you can help other people. I often get people coming to me and saying, hey, Paul, how come you're so happy? And I give them the answer, and the answer is the truthful answer, but they don't take it on board. They don't listen to what I say. They listen to how I say it because I've got an Irish accent. They go, oh. Say that again. I say, because I choose to be. And they look at me and go, oh, 
or I get the ignorant idiots who go, and oh, what's so special about you? And I say, everything. Everything is special about me. Everything that I am is special. And they go, oh, yeah, yeah. So they go into a negative frame of mind. Now, if they choose to go to that negative frame of mind, I can't help that. Only they can. Okay, but I will give them the tools to get out of that negative mind. It's up to them. And one of the things that I used to keep on my wall and then I transposed onto my um, my computers in my offices. So when I click on the computer, it come up straight away and it said, if it's to be, it's up to me. If it's to be, it's up to me. Moments in life belong to you. So it's up to you how you use those moments. It's up to you what you get out of those moments. Because if you get everything that's available to you out of those moments, you can then share that with others and teach them how to be able to do exactly the same thing. And guess what? We're all on the right road to go into the right place at the right time. Divine timing. I absolutely believe in that. 100% believe it. And I also believe 100% in the law of attraction. 100% in the law of attraction. That's why I'm happy all the time. That's why I attract great people to me. That's why I attract people who want to learn and want to be better and want to be happier and want to be have more peace and want to get more out of life. Because that's what I give off. That's what I give off as an energy. Now, in about five minutes time, I'm going to be doing the meditation. So get yourselves in here ready for that. So what that means is shut down everything, you know, take your, your, mo your phone off the hook, whatever the case may be. If you're watching me on your mobile phone, then you don't have much of a choice in that matter, but that's okay. If you're watching me on a computer, for an example, then put your mobile phone on silent, whatever the case may be. But in five minutes time, I'm going to do a meditation and I'm going to do a meditation in every episode of moments. So you're going to get that out of it. Now, um, on the release of my new website, OK, there is going to be a section for people who subscribe to, this, to the website to be able to go into the website and discover and learn and take classes on the site as well. There's, there's so much great things literally about to happen. Everything that I spoke about before Christmas is coming to fruition. Okay, it's all coming into play and all designed to help you. So your time is precious. Set up a time every single day so that you can switch off and enjoy life just the way you want it. Okay. If it's the half an hour that we have here during moments, fantastic, great. If it's um, half an hour here and then you have a half an hour afterwards for yourself, even better. But do it nonetheless. So as I said at the beginning of the show, um, I'm going to say just hi, a generic hi to everybody. Because if I spend saying, time saying hi to you all, the whole half hour show is going to be done. So I'm going to say hi to you all and thank you for being here. Please keep hitting the thumbs so that helps me a lot. Hit the thumbs and hit the heart buttons as much as you possibly can. But equally as, as important, share the show. Please share the show. Share it on your website. Share it on your Facebook pages, your LinkedIn pages, your Twitter accounts, whatever else that you use share it out there and get a lot of people to come in and join us because at the end of the day what we're going to get as a result of these shows is a far more peaceful a more unified person i.e you a far more conscientious person about what it is you want out of life where you're going in life and how you want to get there okay so make this world happen the way you want it to happen and you can do that you have the energy and you have the strength and you have the know-how what i'm going to do is show you where to go to do it all righty so in a few minutes time i will be doing a meditation okay and the ta it's, it, the meditation is just called self that's what it's called the meditation is called self it will be available on my website for you to download and do over and over and over again okay so don't worry too much about that don't worry if you get distracted during the meditation. You can rewind the show and, and see it again afterwards, okay? So when the show's finished, uh, about quarter past one, you can then think, oh my gosh, I, I lost concentration within that particular moment. I'm going to go back. Now, the great thing about the meditations I've designed for, specifically for moments, are they're very short. They're very short, little stab meditations. 
There are things that you can do every single day. Take the time out. Okay. This should be accompanied with my book called The Little Book of Quick Wisdom, by the way. Okay. Everything that we do want to be doing is linked into the book, The Little Book of Quick Wisdom. Right. So which is available now. So get yourselves ready and we're going to do a meditation. Okay. So the meditation is going to be short. It's only going to be about five minutes long. And we're going to get you into a, a, a point where your mind is going to be focused. And we're going to move from that through a series of different meditations for each show. Okay. So the very first meditation today is really getting you being, being more aware of you. Okay. Being more aware of how you are, where you are and where you're going. Short, short meditation. That's all it's going to be. It's very, very simple. So what I'll need you to do is literally forget everybody in the room. Just forget everybody in the room. It's not a negative thing. It's just that I need you to focus on you. Now, within that, I want you to focus solely on you. Okay? Forget everything else. Now, your mind will start to wander, but that's okay. Don't give it thought. The way I used to do when I was first discovering and learning meditation was when the thoughts come in, and they do, because your mind doesn't know. It, it, it's currently trained to do thousand things a second. Okay, what we need to do is bring it down so it doesn't have to do a thousand things a second because you can train your body all day long. You can go to the gym five, six, seven days a week if you want. But what's the point in having a beautiful Rolls Royce with a rusted engine? Okay, we need to give this a break and an overhaul every now and again. Okay, here we go. So what I want you to do is literally listen to my voice. So close your eyes and listen to my voice. Close your eyes. Take slow, deep breaths in. Hold and release equally slowly out. So it's called Puranic breathing and we will do it like this. In, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four. Let's do that again. Breathing in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and release, two, three, four. One more time, listening just to my voice. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And release, two, three, four. Just carry on breathing and listening to my voice. What I want you to see now is a vast darkness of space and just the sunlight, just the sun. See it's golden light emanating, moving and coming toward you. This energy will not harm you. This energy will only help you. It will enter into your body. It will get to your joints, to your muscles and to your nervous system. It will repair each joint, muscle and nerve system. Allow it to do that. Feel your body getting warmer. Feel your body getting heavier. Feel your body releasing, letting go of all the pain, anguish, hassles, stresses of life. Let it go. Feel the sunlight passing through your body like a filter, taking everything that's negative with it. That's thoughts, situations, aches and pains. Thoughts, situations, aches and pains. What I want you to say in your mind now, I give myself permission to let go. I give myself permission to let go. I give myself permission to let go. I am happy, I am free, I love myself. 
I am happy, I am free, and I love myself. I am happy, I am free, and I love myself. Allow that energy to flow through you like a gentle warmth, taking with it all the aches and pains, the worries and stresses of life. And when you're ready, I would like you to take a deep breath in, hold, and release. Two, three, four. Deep breath in, hold, and release. Two, three, four. One more time. Deep breath in, hold, and release. Two, three, four. Well done. Short, easy, as called a self clearing meditation. Very, very simple. Darkness of space, see the sunlight in the distance. And as you're breathing in, see the energy come toward you. And as it passes through you, it filters out of you all the negativity, all the stress, and all the pains of life. But you must choose to let it go. Let the pain, let the anguish, let the stress leave your body and see it be pulled through with that sunlight, with that energy, that pure, perfect energy. If you've enjoyed that, that helped you, give me a thumbs up, please, or a little heart button. So if you hit the thumbs and the hearts, let me know that you've enjoyed that, that you actually experienced that. That'll help me a lot. Please do that. So bang away as many times on the little thumb things or little hearts as you can. That lets me know that you, at least it's helped you some way, which is our aim here on Moments. So Moments is only going to be a 30 minute show. Okay, we're not going to go over that. This is the very first show. So welcome to the return of Moments. Some of you will remember um, in 2019, I had a radio show called Moments and uh, with Amelia. And so what I've done is brought back the concept, but for a live presentation. Um, didn't want to open my, open my eyes, Vanessa. Well, that's okay, because you can do that. You can do that every day. Okay, you can do this. It only takes five minutes. Okay. And one of the nicest places to do it is sitting at the shore, you know, or sitting in on under a tree in real sunlight and allowing that to work give it a go now the more you practice these things the more you do this the more it's going to become a natural act to you and for you okay at the beginning we'll have loads of thoughts coming in and like i said what i used to see was see them on the side of a truck going past just a thought going past the night okay and i didn't look after the truck i just thought it's on the side of a truck must pick up the kids gone past okay because this time right now is our time it's your time so switch the world off switch it off okay let go of everything and every everyone this is your time now each of these meditations will be far more in depth and far more intricate as and will be available to you on my website when we release it at the end of next week okay so i did say to you as well we're going to have card of the day before i do card of the day i want you to i want to give you the quick opportunity to ask me any questions based upon moments and maybe give me some ideas of what you would like to see during the coming series of moments okay so moments with paul francis will be tuesday wednesday and thursday Lock it into your diary, switch it into your mobile phone, set it up as a, you know, set yourself up a time so that you know it's going to come on at 12.45. So set yourself a time at, say, uh, 12.30 to be ready for the show so you know, have some water so you can have something to drink while we're doing the meditation. Because what meditation tends to do is it dries you out because you're breathing in and you don't normally breathe like that. So you're, you're drying everything out. So it's good to have maybe a glass of water. And, and my advice to you is a glass of room temperature water as well. And even if you can, a wee slice of lemon in there. Okay. So um, any questions about the show, anything about what you'd like to see, anything you'd like to understand about today and what, what, it, what it's all about. 
So give me an idea, give me feedback, give me some something you want to, to ask me. So what I'm going to do is um, card of the day. Now every card is going to look like this. That's what the cards look like. I'm going to read the card to you, but I'm also going to take a photograph of the card and put it up on the on the link, okay, to where the show is. So when the show's over, this card will come up so you can read it again and and learn from it. That's the whole idea of moments, okay? Introspection. Now, I called upon the angels before I started the show to help me. The cards were shuffled and the card that came out was this card here, introspection. Your angel guidance is to find a quiet space for contemplation and look within. It is no time. It, it, sorry, it is time to withdraw and renew your life. What a phenomenal start to the new series of moments. Taking time and space for yourself gives you an opportunity to recuperate from life's challenges and to reflect on its way ahead. Strengthen yourself and prepare yourself for the next phase in your life. During times of introspection, you can become aware of your gifts, your inner reserve and your wisdom as it's time for healing. Still your mind, quieten your emotions and ask for your angel's wings to enfold you and provide you with a safe haven in which to relax. Then you can listen to the promptings of your angel inspiring you. Your affirmation while you're doing your meditation is, I claim time and space for myself. How perfect is that? It just, that is the most perfect card. And I promise you with all my heart, I didn't pre-select, I didn't go through all the cards and say, oh, that's the one. I shuffle the cards. I ask the angels to come in and help me select the card that I need for today's show. And that's the card come out. Like I say, directly after the show, I'll take a photograph of that card and I'll pop it up on, <clears throat> on my Facebook page where you guys can go in, look at it and learn. So we've come to the end of the very first show and we're exactly on time. I can't believe it. So I'm going to give you another couple of minutes. If you want to ask me any questions about moments, then it'd be great. But what I would equally like is when I put this card up on my Facebook page, Holly, just a little reminding us that she's here. Um, when I put this card up on my Facebook page, then please um, add to it what you think you would like to see on moments. That'll help a lot. Okay. Amazing message for Sherry. Just what I needed. Good. That's exactly what it's all about. It's all about you today. Everything is about you today. Okay. Not about spirit not about anything else it's all about you that's why the show is called moments right i'm wishing you all the energy all the light and all the strength of the day may the divine light find you keep you and protect you may the white light of angels always surround you remember to take time out every single day just for you but equally communicate Appreciate and validate the people in your life so mediums never have to do it for you. I will see you tomorrow at 1245. Come and join me for the next episode of Moments. And thank you for being here. Have a fantastic day.